In this video, we will be studying about the motion. See, to under, uh, understand this, you should go and stand on the road first. Now, you observe the cars or the uh, bikes moving from one place to other. Now, if there is one car and it is moving, it will change its place from one place to another, right? So, if I say there is other car which is parked, so that car is not moving its position. The car is parked on the road. You cannot see any change in its position after some time. Therefore, a car which is moving which changes position is in a motion. So, the car example is car changing its position. is in its motion and car do not changing the position is in rest right so motion can be defined as that an object is in motion if its position changes with time in relation to a stationary Object stationary means a still object like your buildings, your uh, roads, trees, they are the stationary objects, or you can say the still object or the uh, cars parked in the parking area, such as a building or a tree. This is, you, this is uh, what you mean by motion, the movement. An object is at rest if its position does not change with time. in relation to a stationary or you can say a still object so when the objects are still and they do not change their position they are said to be at rest now let's understand about the story of transport See, how does the uh, transport came into existence? Today we have many means of transport that is, uh, we can transfer from one place to another. We can go from one place to another. by car, bus, train, right, then aeroplane, etc. These are the means of transport. But if I say a long ago, the people used to walk on foot. They carried goods either by themselves or by through the animals. Now the idea of making boat have occurred when people saw logs of wood floating on the water. Now that what happened they realized that if the wood is floating in the water the boat can also we can why shouldn't we make the boat so that we could travel through the water as the means of transport on the world. So earlier boats were made by hollowing out logs of wood. They used to take out the matter uh, all the Woods and the sides were only left, so that was known as hollowing. 
Now, after that, people learned how to make the better boats. Now, boats were made in the form of ship, like early uh, in front also they are narrow. Then they go wide, and then they are also at the end also they are narrow. So in this way, the boats were made afterwards. So they can these type of boats can easily float in water. So if you see uh, see any of the means of tra uh, transport or uh, of waterways you will see all are like this shape fish shape now the invention of wheel, uh, wheel brought up a revolution that carts were used now apart from using the animal power the power of the carts were used after that if i talk about the steam engine that was earlier used to operate the trains to run the trains steam engines they used to work with coal they were invented about 300 years ago now this got another revolution in transport animal power was replaced by engine power the first train pulled by a steam engine was made in the first train pulled by steam engine was uh, in the 19th century about 200 years ago now at the same time if i say then ships started using steam engines so we adopt the faster means of transport so all this transport has a motion attached to it they are moving they are crossing the still object so this is a motion do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us